Well, hello to everybody out there in this great big world. Yes, this is your brother Dana coming to you from the city of Chicago. Yes, I'm back. Um, and um, it's not jet lag right now that has me. It's processing everything that I saw over these past seven days in Ghana, West Africa. Everything that I saw reiterating and absolutely confirming that I know without a shadow of a doubt that you are the true chosen people of the Most High Yah. You are His precious chosen, the true Hebrews. Those who were stripped from your land, your ancestors, and taken by the way of the Atlantic slave trade. See, it wasn't just your physical strength, like Samson, that confirmed that you are this true chosen. Not just the strength of your ancestors and the resilience and the determination that they had while enslaved or, or held in the dungeons for three months before even making their journey to the ship. So it wasn't just that strength that carried your ancestors through that. It's the strength that I still see in you today. But greater than that strength was also this. Knowing everything that your ancestors went through and what you continue to go through, your ability to forgive. My people can't do that. But after everything your ancestors have gone through, which has stripped you of everything that it has, not only did that strength and that determination and your resilience from then to now solidify, but my God, the ability to forgive, which is what Yahshua HaMashiach did. He forgave those because they knew not what they'd done. And not only have you forgiven my forefathers and even us, you have fought for the democracy of this nation. Yes, every single war that the United States has ever ventured in to fight for their democracy, you my Hebrew brothers and sisters, were in the midst of that war fighting for a democracy of a nation that still to this day oppresses you. And so I say this <laughs> and just sharing my heart, but I got a message and I wanted to read this email message that came through my our website. I want to read it to you. And reading this to you is for one purpose only, just to re-solidify <laughs> that I am a servant of the Most High Yah. No man gave me this precious revelation and therefore, I will never back down. I will not remain silent or fade away because of a man on either side. I'm already hated by most of my white evangelical family members, including those of my own blood. Yes, I'm hated by some Hebrew family members as well. But neither side called me, chose me to be blessed with this revelation. And so therefore, the only voice that I meditate on and that I desire to follow first and foremost is the voice of the Most High Yah, for He is the one that called me into this race and this journey of truth. He is the one that had opened up doors in Ghana for me to see things. To confirm and affirm that you are his precious chosen children. 
So this email came through one of the last days I was in Ghana, and it said the name from him. The email address was himmail at him.com. And the subject matter was us. And this was the message. Do you know yet, Dana? Do you feel it in your soul? Your mask has been removed and you are a flayed fish before Israel. We see your innards as clearly as others see your face. You think very highly of yourself to attempt such a deception. We will let you decide if you prefer to maintain the illusion until we leave and we will deal with you and others in the desert. Or you can choose a much wiser path and fade away now. We don't care which you choose. The most disappointing and hurting thing of this email is that who sent this gave no name or not even a working email address for me to be able to respond. Not respond in hate. Not respond <laughs> in defense. But to respond in love. Because this scripture was given to me by the Most High Yah, and I want to share this with you to those of you who express your love and support for me all the time. That Jesus told your ancestors, Yahshua told your ancestors, that if a Roman soldier who was oppressing your ancestors at the time asked you to carry his pack, the law commanded you to do it one mile, but Yahshua HaMashiach said, carry it too. And so when I have seen what my forefathers have done to you, and what my white evangelical family members and fellow white e, uh, family members in this United States continue to do to you today, 400 plus miles later, and you still have the ability to forgive and to carry the load like you like in in the wars to fight for this democracy that is still oppressing you to forgive me who am i to get upset who am i not to put into practice what you have taught me you have shown me for 400 plus years you continue to carry white evangelicals and white America's white supremacy and everything in that backpack that they have placed on you. And another reason why I don't get upset is because, again, I know who called me. And when he called me years ago, he directed me straight to this out of the book of Joshua. Joshua 1. No one shall stand against you all the days of your life, Dana, my son. To see as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall give these people the inheritance of the land that I swore to their fathers I will give them. Your inheritance of the land that was stolen from you is in the process of being back. So even in the Most High Yah calling me back then when I didn't even know the fulfillment of why he was calling me to be strong and, and the, the position or the calling he has honored me to walk in in helping declare your way back to your homeland and to rightfully inherit everything that was stolen from you. I am not going to turn my back because of people hate me. They didn't call me, and I will not quit because they ask me to or command me to. It goes on in verse 7. It says, Above all, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law must not depart from your mouth, but meditate on it day and night, so that you can care be careful to do everything written in it, for then you will prosper and succeed in all you do. 
I want to succeed, not so that Dana becomes wealthy. One love was given to me to be used by the Most High Yah to be a blessing, as the Bible says, unto the true chosen people of the Most High Yah. That is what I've been called to do. And my first and foremost individual that I fear is the Most High Yah, because my soul is in His hands, not the hands of a man. So if I do wrong, I will hurt you. But I will disappoint. And I am under judgment of the Most High Yah. And I desire to live my life for Him as a servant. And He's given me the assurance to be strong and He's given the assurance that judge not another man's servant. I am the servant of the Most High Yah. For then you will prosper and be successful in all you do. Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For I, the Most High Yah, is with you wherever you go. And so I just wanted to take these few minutes to share my heart as a testimony that I know who called me. And as I walk in that confidence and that assurance, this is what the Most High Yah gave me while I was over there. As I was looking at all the beautiful art, I continued to hear him say, Warrior, Warrior. And so I got to a place and I said, do you have some paintings? And they brought out all of these great paintings. And then they got to this one. This here reminds me of who my role models are as warriors ready to fight for the cause of justice and fight for the cause of the Most High Yah. And that I too now must put on <laughs> that full armor to be a warrior ready to fight in the army of the Most High Yah for His precious chosen children. He has shown me great things. And I am blessed and I am honored and I am so humbled because I really don't know why he called me. But I'm no longer questioning why. I'm going to do what he's called me to do. And I rejoice that I get this privilege of being amongst the Most High Yah's precious chosen children. You have been so powerful in my life and I could not imagine living my life without you so let's run this race together <laughs> and how can I be a blessing to you because that's what I'm commanded to do and I want to fulfill that commandment and that purpose all the days of my life so to you I say shalom and thank you.